Hey guys, Aslan here. Welcome to this new update video. As you know, probably know, not everyone does. I make short bit, uh, Bitcoin short videos every day. Okay, I made this video yesterday where I was expecting this move to happen, which you see right here. This down move that comes. All right, let's go to the higher time frame. It's much clearer because I try to make videos on daily time frame. So. Even if you check this video, I was kind of expecting this scenario because I'll tell you why do I expect that. Because the liquidity below this and below this, this was a sharp move. There was a huge volume spike coming in. Okay. And the market goes up, takes these two highs, takes liquidity, goes to the supply zone, then rejects the next day market drops back into that area. Okay. And a one red sharp candle, which gives liquidity to the smart money to accumulate there so from there the market moves up okay so this is what happened and market kind of moved it that way i didn't know for sure it's gonna happen it could have just went yesterday up there but it gave an opportunity very nice opportunity to get back in the zone um and if you remember when that it was dropping that day when it was red hair i said i was waiting because even in my last videos before the market took this dip, I said I'm waiting for this area to be taken these lows supply from these down areas because it already broke this kind of faked it out. If this proves to be high low on a weekly, which it very likely could be. OK, if we see momentum. One more good candle the, then then I expect this area to be tested because this is a weekly supply zone and I've been saying it uh, OK, there is uh, another drawing that I have posted in uh, our discord the links are going to be in description um, I posted this chart like this when the weekly open today uh, last night I think last night I posted this chart saying um, this looks very good this is a, if this is a high low potentially and this becomes another this is a rough idea of like that in, in my the way it, it looks it might just keep going up and then we retest the high take liquidity from these highs and then go for a pullback and then further we'll see what happens i don't know i don't know the future i have never seen the future so it's a it's an estimated potential move which i'm expecting to test this supply zone uh, which already broke this supply zone before and it gave a very nice pullback retest and another opportunity showing first it's showing initial strength then it comes down and shows an, another strength and this is what I'm uh, expecting. So if it gives another two moves up here, takes a fake out and then pull back, that would be very nice to see. Uh, when it comes to seeing all time high from here, there has to be huge catalyst. But other than that, I don't really see it because technically there has been huge demand, it already been filled. Uh, we have a lot of money coming from Russians and other uh, places because people could cannot trade anything in Ukraine at the moment. It's just crypto they can they can do. Anyone donating it, they donate buying crypto and donating them. So this is becoming a bringing huge demand. But it's moving technically. Technically, the chart is giving you direction there, other than just the news itself. It gave fair enough choice to everyone to get in and accumulate Bitcoin. So this is what it's been doing. So first, it came to major the weekly demand goes up breaks the supply on daily and then comes for high low and then you see i'm not expecting too much from bitcoin at the moment in my opinion uh long term yes uh, i've been i said to every video long term buy the dips buy the dips you buy the dips long term but ultimately in bigger picture i think if you really want to pick up big liquidity smart money wants to really hurt people before go up big shake out is is down this taking these loss because then people all everyone got like 30k is a major one everyone is was expecting 30k here and it's not happening so i think we will go up make people for more gain in those who are waiting for lower prices they will form more in and then we'll will probably drop i don't know what's going to happen for sure but there is chance uh all i'm sharing is based on what could happen short term guys if you're thinking long term what I do not touch my long term portfolio. I have what I've sold here. I use for many other things in my life. I bought the house. Um, I'm getting a fix now. 
that requires another 30 grand so there's a lot of things i'm doing right now and i still got a lot of cash i have different kind of plans one long term holding that i left now i'm not touching that bitcoin so you can say i'm bitcoiner so i have one plus so just giving an idea so i'm i am a bitcoiner minimum um so yeah it's all good at the moment so i'm waiting to 10x so what my plan is to have a uh, price coming to this zone around 20 ish um and then play 150 to 100 200 thousand play whatever wherever it goes um and buy ethereum have 10x on that so a hundred thousand into a million or two million so that's my next goal into the next cycle if things doesn't go as i expected this is the game that we play i have already played this run i was buying in march drops so it, it has been life-changing run for me okay it changed everything in my life i was able to buy a house where i never thought of buying house at age of 26 27 so i'm very grateful for that uh that's all i can say i'm so grateful for it um 26 and buying a house because in my circle no one does that no one did that um and I've been traveling the whole, and this is what I've achieved in the last five years, especially mostly all this run. Okay, so this is one thing, guys. If you're not following me, uh, the links are going to be in the description on my Twitter. And this is a project NFT uh, Alpha Pass and Launchpad, which I'm working on slowly, slowly, gradually. I'm uh, making it, you know, growing the community. So it's a free mint, all right? You only have to pay 10, $10 gas fees, roughly, because you have more than enough gap to mint when the prices are low i have minted my cell board for, for ten dollars so uh, around um, uk time 10 11 9 o'clock is the best time to mint because that time americans are sleeping and not many mintings and stuff going on okay so it, it's probably the best time and if you not haven't subscribed do subscribe to the channel and uh, do watch all daily uh, shorts and you, for that you have to subscribe to the channel get the notification it's only 15 seconds update it's very quick i can't go into too much detail but yeah you get an idea so right now so far looking very juicy but it's very early week uh start of the week so it's very hard to say what is going to happen there's a lot of supply up here a lot of short squeeze happened in this move this is not just organic organic move but there was a lot of volume picked up guys last two days and to today's volume there's a huge difference look at this volume and this is so if you merge these two this alone got that much volume and we still have three hours for the close so looking very juicy and nice if we break this high it's gonna boost and everyone is going to be four more into that uh so yeah let's see what happens and i'll see you guys in next video do let me know if there's anything you want me to improve or want to see have a great day bye